Kamara from the National Endowment for Democracy joins us from Washington, D.C. Her work specializes in West and Central Africa. Marissa, many thanks for joining us. Uh, let's just talk about this, this operation and the timing of this withdrawal. It seems that there were clashes over the weekend. We we're also hearing reports of militants gathering at just as the French are preparing to depart. Why are they doing this now? Well, uh, why are the French uh, uh, getting away from, from Central African Republic? Yes. I think that the, the reason they are definitely advancing is that uh, it's because of financial issues. Uh, you might know that the French are also engaged um, elsewhere uh, in Sub-Saharan Africa. Mali is definitely one of the most expensive uh, French operations currently. So yes, France is saying that uh, they don't really have the money uh, to stay in the Central African Republic, but also that their mandate initially was not to stay there forever. How concerned are you about the state that France is leaving uh, CAR in and the, for and the forces ability that's remaining there to, to uh, safeguard security? Well, I'm always worried when the French say that they will leave uh, a country after uh, coming in um, at the height of a crisis. The French had three main um, uh, uh, objectives when they, they started uh, in the Central African Republic. They wanted to rebuild the state, they wanted to end uh, intercommunal uh, conflicts, and they wanted presidential elections. It almost seems like all of their, uh, the, their objectives have been fulfilled, and now they believe that they they are done. But I think that the fact that they are still um, leaving 300 soldiers um, in place in order to train uh, Central African um, uh, other soldiers and make sure that they are available in, in case there is another crisis uh, coming up is uh, quite important. Precisely. I mean, as I said, there have been clashes there over the weekend. Are you worried that France is leaving it in a, a fairly unstable state? And what, what could potentially happen next as far as the country's stability is concerned? I think the French really know that they are leaving a, a fragile country. The president has said it, his MPs have said it, the new government have said it, that uh, France is, is leaving uh, CAR when it is still a fragile state. However, it's not about the question of is not necessarily about timing, but rather um, about the overall objective of France in sub-Saharan Africa. Uh, France did not engage in the CAR to stay there for a long period of time. I think three years is definitely the maximum they could do. All right, Commissioner, we'll leave it there, but many thanks.